I just get glazed donut and then uh, white frosted with sprinkles? Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Donut? This package couldn't have come at a more perfect time, so let's open it. If you guys are curious, this package is from Ana Luisa. I love their jewelry. I remember the first time that they asked me to work with them and I was so excited. I still have all of my pieces from them and they all look amazing still. It's been, I think, almost a year or... Yeah, I think it's been almost a year since I got my first pieces from them, and I love them. And I've just been so grateful that they reach out to me time and time again to work with them because I love all their stuff, and it's just, like, I love growing my collection of Ana Luisa stuff. So anyways, let's find out what they sent me this time. So it looks like they sent me four different items. Are you freaking kidding? Also, this ring is Ana Luisa. And I love it if I so I have it on my wedding um, wedding band hand uh, wedding band hand I have it on my wedding finger um, but if I'm feeling more like gold or if I'm like wanting to wear jewelry I'll wear this instead of my wedding band because my wedding band is silver and I've just become a gold girly I don't know so we might have to change that but look at this oh my goodness it's stunning. I'm not a big ring girly, but I'm trying to like, you know, change my fashion, not change my fashion style, but get more into it and start wearing more jewelry. So, um, partnering with Ana Luisa has really helped me with doing that. <gasps> this little butterfly. Oh my gosh, perfect for summer. So cute. Also, if you guys didn't already know, Ana Luisa is a carbon neutral uh, company from their packaging to their products <gasps> these are adorable I love these these are gonna be like my everyday my do my new little everyday ones maybe not every day but definitely most of my days so I have little studs from them as well those are like more my everyday ones and then I also have these ones I'm just showing you my whole collection right now I also have these little tiny hoops these are also like a really good everyday piece I'm so excited I might wear these ones today <gasps> this one oh my gosh okay I'm probably gonna wear this one today too this is a layered necklace I believe it's so pretty okay let's try it on their pieces are so beautiful oh my gosh I love this I love that it's like just on one chain it's not two separate ones and you just put it on oh my gosh okay um but their pieces are all such good quality and they have some really affordable options as well let's put this on this is gonna look perfect with my outfit oh, are you kidding this is so cute this is so cute okay hmm do I want to go with my OG earrings? I was thinking about wearing these ones today. A big hoop. These are also Anna Luisa. These with the twisted braid ring. We might do that. So these earrings are actually part of some of the first pieces I got from Anna Luisa. This was in the very first box I got from them. And I am in love with them. They still look absolutely amazing as you can see. There's no tarnishing or anything. I think this necklace is my new favorite. I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. So I know I've talked about Ana Luisa a lot in the past, but here's a little bit more about them. So all of their products are backed by a two year warranty. They test against tarnishing, damage, breakage, um, allergies so if you're not completely satisfied with your purchase they will send you a replacement or reimburse you they also offer free and fast shipping and returns within the US and they have affordable shipping options for worldwide like I mentioned they test against tarnishing so all of their products that I own 
have never tarnished on me once they all look brand new like i just bought them so if you guys are interested in checking out Ana luisa i'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can easily find it and then as well as a code you guys can use for 20 percent off the code is allison20 like i said it gets you 20 percent off thank you again to Ana luisa for sponsoring this video and let's go thrifting so this is the fit today Got some Pumas that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, some biker shorts that I got from Ross, probably. I don't know. They go high up and they're stretchy. So they're great for the bump. They're a one size fit all. Um, and yeah, the bump is bumping a little bit. Starting to show. Um, <clears throat> I feel like my shirt on makes it look bigger, but it's not that big. At least I don't think so. Also... I don't think I've told you guys on here, but uh, we're pregnant again. I know, so anticlimactic. Um, but I posted it on my Instagram and on my TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me there, then yeah. But surprise, I'm pregnant. I am 13 weeks and 5 days today. So I will be 14 weeks on Saturday so exciting so this is I've been kind of living in big t-shirts and biker shorts when I'm not at work luckily my jeans are like very stretchy still so they still fit me but we're thrifting some maternity clothes today that's the main reason why we're going thrifting so yeah but surprise pregnant This is a really nice vase. I probably just like spray paint. But it's really nice. This one too. This one. I found these and they're like in such good condition. They're only 20 bucks. But there's like six. I tried them on. And sadly, they do not fit, so I'm gonna leave them here. But they were like just too tight. Well, there were no good finds. Their maternity clothes was very small and they just, everything looked huge. Like all the small sizes, there was like nothing. So sadly, it was a bust. And there were like some things I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But I'm like, I don't need it. So the only good thing were those shoes. I'm so sad that they weren't just like even a half size bigger because ugh, they were so cute. They were so tight though. I put them on my foot and I was like, if they weren't as tight, I could get away with it and I would get them, but they were just way too tight on my foot. So I'm back home now. And like I mentioned, the thrift store was a bust. I decided not to go anywhere else. I'm honestly just not feeling like going out anywhere. And it's my day off. And so I'm like, really, I should spend it at home cleaning because this house is a mess. I don't think I'm going to vlog it though just because I really want to get it done quick because it is almost 2 o'clock and I'm going to go pick up Kaysen in a few hours. So I just want to get it done really, really fast. So I'm not going to vlog it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog the rest of today or not. I'm probably not doing anything exciting. So I will vlog again another time. Don't know when because I work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I know I said I probably wasn't going to vlog anymore today because it's going to be boring and then I'm cleaning and I didn't want to vlog me cleaning. Well, I started picking up the living room or like came to start picking up the living room. And I was looking at this and I was like, I really, really hate that. It's we're selling it when we move anyways why not sell it now and just put this thing right there I haven't finished it that's I'm gonna put legs on that and doors but for now it's just like that um, but I'm like well why don't I just I'm shaking so bad right now I don't know if you guys can tell I'm okay this arm is very shaky <laughs> um, so I'm like why don't I just put that there and go buy some cubbies and put Casey's toys in there because this is what stores his toys currently. So, oh my gosh, it is. I think it's just this hand. This hand is so shaky right now. Oh my gosh. I think it's because I'm like, this hand is tired um, from sanding because 
So, like I said, I'm gonna do all that. And I was like, but I wanna put legs on it. Like, I don't wanna put it over there without legs. But then I was like, wait, I do have legs. I have these, which these were actually um, a darker stain, if you can see that right there. That's the stain they were. Um, I actually got these on Amazon. Oh my gosh, do you see my hand? This hand is like, probably from sanding. I was using this one and I was like sanding really hard. Anyways, oh, I need to relax. Anyways, um, these are from Amazon. I used these on our bed frame that I DIY'd, but it just like wasn't that good or great or whatever. So I ended up tossing the bed frame a while back um, and taking these off and I was like, well, I'll just use them for something else. And then I was like, wait, I can use them for that. But like I said, they were the dark stain and I was like, it doesn't, it's not the vibe that I want. I want like more of a natural lighter wood. So I was like, wait, these are just a block of wood. Let me sand them down. So that's exactly what I did. I sanded them down and I did the first one with like a hand sander, uh, which was not a hand sander, just by hand. Uh, and that was, took too long and I was so exhausted from it. And then I was like, well, I have an electric sander. Like, why don't I use that? So I finally got it out and sanded it. Sanded the last three blocks, which it was so fast. I think I slant, slanded. I sanded all three of these in less amount of time than it took me to do one. So I'm glad I ended up doing that and not trying to do them all by hand because that would have been exhausting. So now that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on. Hopefully, hopefully I can do it. Okay, so my camera died and I had to run over to Walmart really quick to get a different drill bit size. So, quick Walmart haul. I just got a little pack of like multiple different drill bit sizes because I feel like I'm gonna need them down the road. You never know, and I have none. So, um, I also don't really technically have a drill. It's like a tiny little electric screwdriver, but these fit in it and it works as long as you're not like, you know, doing heavy duty stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. I used it when I drilled new holes in my dresser that I made over, I think I already posted that, I'm not, see, I don't even know what I posted. Anyways, I got these bins to put in there. I only got two. There's something in my eye. There has been something in my eye. It's probably sawdust or something, cause Ever since I was sanding, my eye is bothering me. I only got two because I don't know. Eventually, I want to put doors on it. So I'm like, what's the point? And I don't want it to be Kaysen's toy. Thing. Well, well, I could put bins inside and then doors over it, right? Like. I'm still debating, but 
I don't think I'm going to open them up. I think I'm going to leave them because now after I bought them, I was like, wait. If they're going to be hidden eventually anyways, I might just get like some ugly ones from Amazon or from Ikea. I'm such a like DIY queen. I love DIYing and like woodworking and stuff like this. Well, I don't know if you consider it woodworking, but like doing projects, it's so much fun. And I'm just, I've always been like crafty and good at doing things myself, like DIYs. So I guess that's where I get it from. But I think I get that from my mom also, because my mom is like that. <gasps> Are you kidding? Okay, so now we have to do the other ones. Um, I'm gonna do some measuring to make sure I get it um, the same as this one. All of the lights are on, and now it's kept up. Let me back over. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. Like, what? Okay. I'm a little nervous to flip back over. I don't know why, but. A few days since I vlogged last and I have a few things I want to do so I figured I would vlog them and uh, one of those is painting this wall back to white so as you guys know we live in military housing and this is one of the approved colors but I'm just worried that they're gonna say something when we move out because it's only one wall and also there are some spots on it that are like not the best like there's some paint right there I didn't tape it off very well up there there's also some so it's just, it wasn't painted the best, but um, I didn't really care because obviously we weren't going to be living here forever and I don't really care for this color. I honestly just painted it this color because I was like, oh, baby's nursery, it's the closest to blue or like a color that I could get for his room. So thinking back though, I wish I would have picked the green color because the green is pretty nice and like we went for like a safari theme even though we didn't really do safari but he had these little things above his crib and then he also had um like safari sheets which he still has and then he has this little height measuring tracker or whatever that my mother-in-law got for us and it's got like little safari animals on it too so it was just a little hint of safari animals also i don't think i showed you guys but i Changed up the living room a bit. In case it's out here watching his show. Hi, baby. What happened to your banana? I think it's on Corson. What? Corson? Corey Carson? Where's your. Can you pick up your banana? Go pick up your banana. He's like, no. Yeah. Anyways, I moved this over here. Let me. I'm getting some baskets that should be coming in today to put down here and put Kaysen's toys in because currently his toys are in that, if it'll focus, it's in that thing over there and that was over here, but I want to sell it and get rid of it because when we move, I want to get rid of it anyway, so I was like, let me just get rid of it now. Like, I am in the mood to declutter my house lately, so anything I can get rid of at the moment, I want to, so that's one thing. Mm. So the baskets should be coming in and we'll organize all of his toys in that and then I can post that on like marketplace and hopefully someone will take it. It's not too bad. It's in pretty good shape still. The only thing is the top. So like I redid the top of it. I took it off and like sanded the white paint off and stained it. Um, so it's just got a few like you can see the little nicks in it um, just from case I'm like playing with his toys on it and like just... He likes to hit things on tables and so he'll like put his cup on here and like hit it into the table and so it makes these little nicks in the table. Hi, are we gonna go change? We gotta get ready for school. Okay.
Okay, a little change of plans. Kaysen is coughing like crazy, like an insane amount of coughing, and it just doesn't sound good. So I'm gonna keep him home. I'm still gonna try and paint his room, but the only thing that's changing is Kaysen's gonna be home. So wish me luck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a baby gate up so that way, like, he can still go over there and see me if he wants, but I won't let him go in the room because I don't want him to touch the paint or mess anything up, you know or get paint on anything because I'm gonna just like move his furniture over I'm not gonna like move it all out um so yeah hopefully he will be good and he will just watch his show today and let me like do my thing and yeah he also has some new toys coming in from Amazon that I ordered him so hopefully those will keep him entertained as well um but yeah I'm at the paint store now so we're gonna go in and get some paint and then we'll go home and start yeah. painting We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping Okay, the room is finished It's all done Just took my hair down and like Wiped off all of the paint that I had on my arms and legs which wasn't much I just had like a little bit on my arm here and then a little bit on one of my legs and I just used baby wipe and it came right off so now I'm really hungry so I'm gonna make some lunch it's already two dang that's crazy I did four coats on that wall so it took me a while because I had to wait for it to dry and then go do another coat and then wait for that to dry and go do another coat so I think I started painting around 10 maybe, maybe 9.30ish, because I went to go get the paint and then immediately came home and started painting. So, it's 2 o'clock, Casey needs to nap, so I think I'm going to put him down for a nap in the guest room, just so that way, because the room is still drying and airing out, even though it really doesn't smell um, like bad in there, I honestly don't smell any sort of paint smell so that paint is very like low odor um, which is nice but I'm still airing it out just just cuz and then I have the fan going so that way it can help it dry so I'm gonna put Casey down for his nap because it is two o'clock and it's kind of like a really late nap for him but we're gonna do that and then I will come and make some lunch because I'm starving mm -hmm. My Amazon package is here. So we're gonna open it. There's a few things in here for Kaysen, and then the rest no! is my no! little dressing cubbies no! for this thing. I got Kaysen these wooden no! puzzles. So no! cute. He loves puzzles and like matching no! things up together. So I figured these would be good for him to learn how to do, um, I haven't opened them just yet, I'm gonna wait until I'm done with everything, just cause I wanna help him, show him how to use them and how they work. Okay, and then these are the, oh, oh, okay. yes, these are the, the little basket bin thingies, they're like wired where they have like a little wiring thing in them. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see, but they look like they'll be good. I thought they were just gonna be like the little foldable ones, you know, and then you like put the little thing at the bottom so it stays open. Anyways, I got Jason this. I remember as a kid going to my doctor's office and they had this and I would always play with it. Um, so it's just a little um, like maze. 
type of thing. Okay, hold on. Just trying to move. Oh. Oh. Are you saying cheese? Back up. Go right here. You gotta say it like this. Oh, okay. Say cheese. <laughs> say hi. Hi. Say how are you? How are you? <laughs> say what are you doing? What are you doing? Say. <coughs> say have a good day. Happy day. Happy day. Happy day. Happy day. It's a happy day, huh? Be oh. <laughs> Okay, you want to see the toys that mommy got you? Come here, mommy got you toys. Mommy got you some toys. Cheesing. Cheesing little boy, but um, I saw this on Amazon and I was like, the nostalgia. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's open it up for him. Because this one's not going to make a mess and be all over the place. At least I hope it's not. Um, but it's basically just a little board and it's got this like clear over it so like none of can you watch out please thank you none of the little beads or the marbles are going to come out and then it's got wait first of all it has satisfying little heel okay hold on watch out watch out he wants to play with it so bad Oh, it's like, I hate that when it's around the little buttons and stuff. Anyways, <coughs> it has this little, okay, this is different. Before it was like a little, it was a whole pen, but it's just magnetic and you can move them around and put them in the correct little colors. Okay, look. You ready? Mommy's going to show you something. We're going to do the puzzles. Okay. You want to see puzzles? What's that? Oh, a frog. Okay, let's open it. Frog. Frog, yes. Wow. It is a frog. Come here. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Come here, Casey. Look at it. Where does the face go? Look at it. It's a puzzle. Like this? Ready? Right there. Okay. Where does that one go? Yeah, good job. You gotta put it on like that. Now let's open my little storage thing. Come on, baby. That is a turtle. Go get more. This is what they look like. They've got a little handle. Um, they look really nice. Let's. I hope they fit in here now. They look kind of big. Oh no. They fit perfectly! Okay, I'm gonna set all of these up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I look like this, but we just woke up not that long ago. And I took my lashes off last night, so I feel naked without them now. But I'm probably going to do them today, maybe, actually maybe not, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But that was my second time doing my lashes. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but I did like the false care lashes. The first time it lasted me like four days, second time it lasted me a whole week. And then I could see that they were like starting to like, like I could easily pull them off if I wanted to. So anyways, we got back from Houston last night. We got in kind of late, not really, it was like 10. Um, 30 minutes later than we were supposed to because I had to stop and take care of Kaysen because he was crying and he was hungry and whatnot. So we had to stop and do that, put another 30 minutes on our time. We were supposed to get home at 9.30, which I was like, perfect. But then we ended up getting home at 10. Didn't go to bed until like 11.30 because I was unpacking and getting Kaysen ready for bed and then getting him ready to want to go to bed because he had fallen asleep in the car. So... <laughs> It was difficult. We went to Houston for my sister's gender reveal. Um, it's a girl, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, but now I have to go to work today. And yeah, so I'm not gonna vlog anymore. But I just want to open this 
package on camera with you. Um, my sister-in-law got this for Kaysen, I believe. So we're gonna open it up. I don't know what it is. She just texted me yesterday and said she sent something for Kaysen and that it was delivered. It is, oh, a little number dinosaur train. <gasps> he's gonna love this <laughs> because he's like obsessed with trains right now um, and like mashing things up and numbers and colors and all that. So this is perfect for him. Um, he's gonna love that. So thank you to my sister-in-law. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog. Also, another big thank you to Anna Luisa for the jewelry pieces. I absolutely love them and I wore them to the baby shower as well, or not baby shower, the gender reveal. I just didn't take any pictures or like vlog it or anything. So you guys did see, but I wore this really cute pink dress that I got from um, Pink Blush. It's like a maternity clothing. And then I paired it with my Anna Luisa jewelry and it just made it look so cute. So anyways, thank you again, Anna Luisa. And if you guys haven't already, go check the link in my description and you guys can go check out Anna Luisa. And then you guys can also use my code when you shop with them. I can't remember what it is, so I'll leave it here and in the description for you guys. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Whenever I do this, I feel like, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> okay, anyways, bye.